Romney, on the, on the other hand, has, a, has a, an opposite problem in that uh, he famously wrote an opinion piece for the New York Times, which is the headline, which he didn't write, but the headline was, Let Detroit Go Bankrupt. Romney will try to say, well, I, they ended up doing what I proposed. You know, they ended up doing a bankruptcy. If they just listened to what I had said. And the, the problem with that is that by virtually every account of, of um, you know, experts in this area, the proposal that Romney had was simply not viable in, at the time he made it. The uh, early November, December, he was saying no government bailout, or eventually maybe a government bailout, but not right now. Uh, let them just go file in a prepackaged managed bankruptcy. And the problem was there was no way that those companies could have gotten debtor in possession financing. So, you know, it's easy for him to kind of say, well, in the end, they did a bankruptcy. That's what I proposed. But that's not really what he was proposing. That's not really what happened. Uh, and I've, uh, you know, he's, the Democrats like to try to pretend that he's not been consistent on the auto bailout. He was actually remarkably consistent, particularly if you go back and look at his remarks in, to, in the 2008 campaign. But he tries to spin it as this, in the end, they accepted what I had always planned to do, which is not the case. You can't really argue that. And so he's now left with saying things like, I take a lot of credit for the fact that this industry's come back. He got a couple of Pinocchios for that. 